Welcome to my channel, Angela Suizio. I make videos showing my process of art and fashion design inspired by Oriental history. Today I'm so excited to show you a furniture flip that I did for my art studio. This was an old dresser from my brother's room. It was dusty and outdated. It had a yellow wood color and scratches all over it. Some of the knobs were missing and the drawer glides were broken. First I wiped the dresser down, sanded it, primed it, and got to painting. I picked out this beautiful Shanghai Jade color from Bear in Home Depot. I have more in-depth videos on how I prime and paint my furniture on my channel, so be sure to check those out after this video. Next, I removed the knobs from the dresser drawers and my grandma and I applied this gorgeous stick-on wallpaper that I picked out from Etsy. It's a chinoiserie pattern. I spent weeks browsing through Etsy deciding on which pattern I wanted for these drawers. And my favorite part of this dresser, the knobs that I went with. They're so unique. I picked two butterflies, two dragonflies, and two birds. This gives the dresser such a whimsical look. As you can tell from my logo, dragonflies are significant to Angela Suedio. I used to be fascinated with butterflies, dragonflies, bees, ladybugs, roly polies, and bird eggs when I was little. But out of all of these, I realized that I never see dragonflies anymore, and I almost forgot they existed. I had so much time and patience to chase them around when I was little. Healing the loss of childhood wonder is a theme I would like to explore more through my art and designs. And right next to my beautiful dresser is my beautiful bookcase that I also painted and refurbished. You can view the process in my other videos. Now for a fabric tour. Most of what you see in these drawers is fabric that my wonderful fashion professor gave me while I was learning to sew in New York last year. I organized the top drawer by lightweight fabrics. and I picked up this kimono sash in Hawaii.
In the second drawer, we have mid-weight fabrics, such as cotton. I used the red fabric for a skirt, which you can find on my website, and I made some colorful pants with this white and floral fabric. In the bottom drawer, I keep the thicker fabrics. I'm really excited to make some tea paw out of these tweed and plaid fabrics that my professor gave me. These remind me a lot of Chanel patterns. They feel really high quality. Let's put the finishing touches. watching let me know what you think be sure to like and subscribe and check out my other playlists